so welcome back to another wednesday talks uh, this time uh, it is on uh, a bank so many of the subscriber has uh, asked me uh, to give you an overview or explain about the banking domain that would be helpful for the it teams so when i say it teams it can be a developer uh, testing team qa or a business analyst towards new to the organization or the team that he or she is working on so so with the thought thought like uh, let me create one and uh, share it okay so with that let's get started uh, the banking domain for the IT teams refers uh, generally with the areas of expertise uh, that anyone would relate to the technology solutions and services used in the banking industry uh, the areas that, that can be like a digital banking payment system fraud detections and regulatory complaints so the IT team in the bank uh, is responsible mainly for developing and maintaining software system that supports in the bank operations and they need to provide a secure and seamless customer experience right so they can be working on projects ranging from development of uh, mobile banking apps to the implementation of real-time transaction processing systems okay and to be a successful in this banking domain of the teams that you'd be working it is very important that you have a solid understanding of the financial industry and their regulatory requirements and the latest technology trends uh, that the particular bank that you are working they might be using it's uh, strong skills in areas such as like project management or software development and data analysis are so critical for this uh, when you're working in a banking project okay so so what are the different knowledge that uh, you should focus on this uh, first i mean if you are a developer, maybe I know you you'd be working coding coding on a specific modules and you just start coding. So, but before uh, jumping onto the coding part, let's understand about uh, the banking products, what they would be using, and what is the regulatory requirements that would be needed, the payment systems, the banking operation, risk management, security, and the data management that need to understand. Right, as a software developer, uh, you you need to understand the functional knowledge of, of these systems. Right. So when I say understanding of the banking products, understanding of the different types of banking products, such as like savings account, checking accounts, loans, mortgages, and extra. And similarly, with the regulatory requirements, you should have the familiarity of uh, requirements such as like AML, anti-money laundry, KYC, and FinCEN. Uh, I can say like uh, financial crime info enforcement net, uh, network regulation so th that is about the regulatory and requirement that that's just an understanding of the functionality how it works we need to know and then very important thing is of the payment system uh, maybe you should have some knowledge about the payment system such as like ACH Y transfer electronic uh, fund transfer that is EFT and then the basic banking operations like let understand the uh, uh, understanding of the banking operations such as like account opening or customer service customer onboarding and account management right and similarly you should also have an understanding about the risk management uh, having a knowledge of risk management such as like credit risk operational risk and market risk similarly with the security so understanding of security measures for protecting sensitive customer information and financial transactions and similarly uh, you should have a good knowledge about the data management process for uh, storing and uh, I can say like the processing large amount of uh, financial data. It's all about the data, right? Uh, in addition to this functional knowledge, uh, we should have a strong set technical skills uh, such as like software development, database management system, and system integration, right? So this is all about the knowledge that you should uh, acquire uh, while working in a banking project. Okay, let's talk about the bank now. Just uh, just I'll give you a little overview of here. Uh, the banking uh, domain is a branch of the financial service sector that deals with operations and activities of banks and other financial institutions. The main purpose of the bank is to accept deposit from the customer, grant loans and advances, and perform other financial services like foreign exchange, trade financing, money transfer, and investment management, right? And wealth, of course. Uh, banks are regulated by government agencies and are subject to various uh, law and regulation including those related to the anti money laundering and the kyc and uh, the basal accords right so this is the uh, quick snapshot of the bank and uh, 
what are the types of uh, banks that we can see like commercial banks investment banks central banks cooperative banks retail and then online mobile and digital banks uh, wallets came into the picture right so so each type of a bank offers other services and uh, caters to different types of a cust uh, customers i can say like in the few recent years uh, as the banking se sector has undergone significant transformation with the advent of technology e digitalization right this has led increased competition to shift towards more convenient and efficient services such as like as you can see here like mobile banking online banking and digital wallets has been growing a lot right so this was about the types of a bank and uh, what are the different account types of a bank that we can see in especially in the USA uh, uh, we can see like checking account saving account money market account certificates of deposit CDs call it as uh, IRA like individual retirement account business accounts and joint accounts like checking account these are the accounts used for day-to-day -day, day transactions such as like writing checks making electronic payments and withdrawing cash from ATM savings accounts right uh, these accounts allow customer to save money and uh, earn interest on their deposit and talking about the money market account these accounts I can say like offer higher interest rates than traditional saving accounts and also have often have restrictions on the number of withdrawals that can be made each month now let's talk about the CDs uh, CDs are like time deposits and uh, that pay a fixed rate of interest for a specified term usually ranging from few months to several years I can say the next talk about the IRA IRAs are like tax advantage accounts that allow individuals to save for retirement right uh, the next about the business accounts like uh, businesses can open checking and say or saving account to apply for the commercial loans to manage their financial operations and then we have like joint accounts like joint means two or more individuals uh, they share the bank account right so that's about the or uh, uh, normally the married couples or uh, the business partners so they can open the joint accounts okay so these are the account types and then uh, another important point that we need to understand here is uh, what are the different uh, modules that we uh, see in a banking application software right so we we can come across uh, uh, account management customer uh, relationship, manage, uh, relationship management, loan management, investment management, risk, core banking, internet banking, bill payments, reporting and analysis. So we, we these are the main, I can say like the important modules that we need to understand uh, whenever uh, you're working in a banking project. When I say about the account management, what it is, uh, this module deals with opening and maintaining customer accounts as well as uh, uh, with performing transactions such as deposits withdrawals and transfers all this goes into the account management entity or uh, I can say the module then comes about the CRM this module manages interactions with the customers including marketing and customer services then comes the loan management this module manages loan processing including loan application disbursements and repayments then comes the investment management this module uh, I can say like manages investment products and services such as um, I can say like bonds insurance and mutual funds yeah there may be others uh, then next is the risk management uh, this will help them to manage uh, and minimize the risk associated with the banking activities uh, right so as I mentioned earlier so the risk can be like a credit risk market risk and operational risk and then the main important one the core banking uh, this module manages the bank core operations such as like maintaining a database of accounts performing transactions and uh, providing account statements then we have like mobile banking uh, this model provides customer with ability to access the bank accounts and perform transaction through their mobile devices right internet banking as most of the users are doing this uh, this module provide customer with the ability to access the bank accounts and perform transaction through the internet no need to visit the branches right so the bill payments uh, this module enables customers to pay their bills such as like utility bills credit card bills debit card bills not not debit card sorry so credit card bills through the bank platform 
that has been created right so reporting and analytics obviously so they, they need some analytics and reports uh, for the all the transactions that's been happening so this model provides management with the information about the performance of the bank and uh, various business units as well as the customer behaviors and trends so that can be easily done so these are the very important banking modules uh, modules that we can see if you're working in a software as a software developer or an architect or uh, the different roles that whatever you the roles you are playing when you're working with a bank right so let's talk about the functional knowledge that uh, definitely you would need is like uh, customer account management right so when we say about the customer account management this involves understanding the customer account opening maintenance and the closing process right and then we need to know like uh, deposits and withdrawal understanding of different types of deposit accounts withdrawal procedures and transactions and then the same way we need to know the loan processing right so we as we said like the bank is nothing but deposits and lending right so the, we need to understand about the loan processing like a knowledge of loan processing dispersal and the, the repayment procedures right uh, then foreign exchange operations like understanding the forex rate conversions and transactions then we have uh, investment management uh, different uh, you should have the knowledge of uh, different types of investment options their returns and the process of investments and redemptions and then uh, risk management understanding of different types of risk involved right so then regulatory compliance uh, uh, it can regulatory compliance to in line with that uh, AL, AML uh, KYC right so then customer service understanding the different types of a customer service process so this customer service plays a very key role in development of the bank right uh, and then technology obviously right so the familiarity with the technology used in banking operations so you we need to know like what technology is being used what is the technology stack and what are the different things they are using so all this we need to understand so like so the technologies used in bank operation include like we have to understand core banking systems mobile banking system atm services internet banking so all this we need to understand about this right okay so that's fine so now we understood like okay what are the important modules that we need to know about the bank and uh, how it works right so let's understand like how the data in and outflow comes throughout the bank right so the data in and outflow to banks typically occurs through various channels such as like the branches okay the first the customer goes to the branches they do some transaction the data is stored there right then ATMs then online banking the mobile banking and the car transactions you do so there is a lot of data in and out flow to the bank typically uh, from these uh, systems right the front end systems these channels are integrated with banks back-end systems such as like core banking systems payment gateways and uh, other systems right the next comes is that how these how these are processed right so the data is now processed validated and stored in a secure manner following the regulations and standard set by the financial industries now what we do with the process data the process data is then used for various purposes such as like account management transaction processing reporting and decision making right so this is how the data in and out flow throughout the bank so this is very much important right so we need to understand this flow uh, so in order to master uh, uh working in a banking industry right okay so then that, let's take about since we are talking about the data let's talk more about the how so since we have seen like there is a lot of data coming on from the various channels and there are a lot of entities third parties involved in everything securing the data and everything right so let's understand more detail about how these data is protected right so how handling the secure data in the banking right so there are a lot of uh, secure data i mean processing involves here like so i've mentioned few points here like handling secure data transfer in banking application is a critical as aspect i can say and that involves like multiple security measures to protect sensitive information right so all the data is a very sensitive information that should be protected it can be pi information uh, or name address phone number transaction details credits debits and all these are very sensitive information that should be protected safely right so here are some common ways to handle uh, secure data transfer in a banking application the first thing is uh, encryption encryption encrypting i can say like encrypting the data while 
it's in transit the, while the data is in transit uh, so we have to encrypt the data uh, the technologies i can say like uh, ssl tls uh, can ensure that it's protected against uh, eavesdropping and uh, any tampering right then next comes like authentication uh, authenticating means like authenticating users and devices before allowing access to sensitive information helps ensure that only authorized individual can access the data right so this can be done using the combination of like uh, the first thing is uh, uh, the traditional one is like the providing the username and password and then next the things have changed there is a lot of authentication systems have been arrived like two for two factor authentication i can say like the biometric authentication right right this is about the authentication then there is a secured like authorization implementing the roles that is based on the access control and defining the level of uh, each access uh, the system can help to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information and then we have obviously we have file wall, firewalls and network security so using by implementing this firewall and network security measures we can help them protect uh, the systems from external threats and unauthorized access to sensitive information right then uh, monitoring and logging so regular monitoring of the systems and keeping track of all users activity through logging can help defect uh, help detect sorry detect and prevent uh, any authorized access to sensitive information then we obviously have this data backup and recovery so why it is needed so regular backing up critical data and having a disaster uh, for disaster recovery plan in place can ensure that sensitive information can be recovered in case of any kind of a disaster uh, happening or the data loss is happening right so by by implementing all the security measures the bank can ensure the secure transfer of sensitive data and protect their customers information okay so this is all about the how, how do we how the banks handle uh, the data by securing the information right now let's understand about the architecture of the banking system so like what we can see here it's a front end middleware back end system data warehouse payment systems and the security right so when we talk about the front end system as yes we have already spoken about this but just uh, going deeper dive into this the front end uh, uh, is nothing but it's a customer facing interfaces which uh, users interact with the bank through various channels such as uh, ADMs internet banking mobile banking and so on right then talking about the critical thing like important thing the middleware the middleware component acts as a bridge between the front end and the back end systems it handles transactions uh, data processing communication between uh, different systems right then we have this back end system these component consist of several such systems such as like co banking system um uh, loan management system yeah and risk management and i can say like accounting systems like right? yeah these systems are responsible for maintaining the core financial data of the bank and processing transaction and uh, then we have a data warehouse uh, this component is uh, uh, used to handle our uh, data storage and retrieval and uh, it can also provide business uh, intelligence and data analytics service to the bank and then very 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 important the payment system so without this system the the transaction wouldn't work right so this component includes payments gateways like electronic fund transfers and other payment systems that enables customers to transfer money and make payments and then security security is very very important uh, the security component includes like various secured measures such as like encryption that we just discussed uh, encryption firewalls access control systems and other uh, to protect the banking system and data from external or internal threats right so this is all this is the uh, architecture of the banking system second second and let's talk about the technology stack right okay yeah so if you're working in a banking project as a uh, as a developer or an uh, architect so definitely you might have seen this picture or uh, uh, these things uh, technology stack basically uh, you have the first thing is front-end development uh, you need that's uh, the traditional started with uh, html css javascript angular react vue.js right so this is the hierarchy so a front end uh, developer will have so obviously there will be other things so you can just post it in my comments like i'm I, i'm missing many thing here just uh, but i'm giving you a few things like 
what is required uh, then we have the back-end development it can be like java based applications c sharp python ruby and rails cobol and so on right maybe there may be many uh, databases like oracle sql server sybase mysql db2 and so on right they'll have this uh, SQL and no SQL things and then we have application server like uh, IBM Web Spear, Apache Tomcat, JBoss and then the security layer, SSLS, TLS encryption, authentication, authorization, access control and so on. Then we have this integration like uh, REST API, message queues, uh, uh, MuleSoft, nowadays it's been used, uh, I mean MuleSoft, uh, service oriented architecture etc right then we have uh, operating systems like windows uh, mainframe linux gax and so on then the very important one the cloud services like uh, we can use like aws microsoft azure google Platform, ibm and there are many other cloud services but just mention the few top okay so this is about the technology stack that a person who is working in the banking industry either technically business or qa right so this covered the complete uh, overview that i wanted to share uh, or the knowledge i acquired when i was working with the banking uh, domain okay so with that said i would like to thank everyone so i'm so happy to say that uh, our channel has reached more than 30k plus subscribers and i can say like when i was looking at the stats i've noted that 17.6 million plus minutes has been streamed so far since from the channel that i have created and uh, uh, the videos that i have uploaded and made more than 5.25 million views has been so i just wanted to take this moment to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed my channels and watching the video and uh, your support mean a lot to me and i'm truly grateful for having uh, this uh, creating this and the lot of support that has been coming and uh, i'm looking forward to continue to bring a more more content in the uh, future so with that said i i want to thank each and everyone if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe